Hey everyone, it's Dave from Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Today we are going to be making oven roasted potatoes, but we're going to be doing it on the LG 900 pellet grill. Stick around. Now, when I say this is a simple recipe, uh, I'm not joking. I mean, this is the basic of the most basic recipes you can get out there, but um, it never fails. It's such a great side to have with any type of barbecue, any grilling you're doing. Uh, it goes with everything. I mean, maybe not Italian food, but everything else. Um, it's super simple and it doesn't involve any ingredients that you don't have just laying around in your pantry. I'm going to do this on four pounds of potatoes. I actually have um, some potatoes that I got out of my garden and then I bought a couple more potatoes at the store just to kind of make an even four pounds. Um, but the ingredients I'm going to give you, I'll give it to you on a per pound basis. So however many pounds of potatoes you want to make, you'll know just to multiply it by that number. I find that usually one pound of potato is good for two or three people, depending on how much they like to eat. Type of potatoes. I'm using uh, Yukon Gold potatoes for this, but I've done this uh, recipe with red skin potatoes. Um, I've tried them with other different, you know, like weird um, heirloom purple potatoes. It really works great with pretty much anything. I, I, it may not be great for a baking potato, but you can try it. Uh, you can't want one of those more kind of uh, starchy, smaller potatoes. It tends to work better for this. First thing, as always, wash your potatoes. Cold water, scrub them, get them clean, dry them off. Then you're going to want to, you know, cube them up so that the pieces are all roughly the same size. You do that because if you have big chunks and little chunks, they're going to cook at different speeds, and you don't want them to finish at different rates. So get them all roughly, I call it about a one inch cube, maybe a three quarter inch cube. Um, get them all roughly the same size. Put them in a bowl. Now for each pound of potatoes, I like to add one tablespoon of olive oil, okay? So I've got four pounds here. I'm gonna put four tablespoons of olive oil on my potatoes. Next is salt. You need the salt, in, you know, think French fries. Potatoes and salt just go together. So for every pound of potatoes, I use a half teaspoon of salt. Okay, one half teaspoon. So for this four pounds, it's gonna be two whole teaspoons of salt that I'm gonna mix on there. Next, I like to add a little bit of flavor to this. Um, I don't like just, you can just go straight salt and pepper if you want, but I like to add a little bit more interest to it. So I'm gonna put some garlic powder on there. For this, I do a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder per pound, or in this case, one whole teaspoon for this four pounds of potatoes. Um, I also do a quarter teaspoon of paprika. I'm using smoked paprika just to add a little bit more of a smoky flavor to it. Um, so I'm using one teaspoon for these four pounds here. And then lastly, pepper. About a quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper as well. I'm just eyeballing it. I've got my pepper grinder and I'm just kind of gonna let it go until it looks like about a teaspoon of ground pepper. Get in there with your hands and mix this together. I know you can use a spoon if you want, if you're some sort of delicate doily or something, you don't want to get oil on you, then use, use a spoon, use a spatula, but use the best mixing tools ever. So you get in there, mix it up, get it all coated nice and even. I like to use a disposable aluminum pan for this, um, just because it's a little less washing to do at the end, and plus I have a ton of them in the garage. Uh, you can even use one that you've used before for something else. Get them on there and try to spread them out on an even layer. I'm using a large aluminum pan because I have four pounds of potatoes. But if you only did, you know, one or two pounds, you could use a half size, use something smaller. Before I put these potatoes on the smoker, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I post a new video. Once they're in the pan, you're gonna wanna put them on the pellet grill. Now, I like doing them on the LG 900. Um, one, it adds a little bit of smoke flavor to it, which is nice. Um, I'm making them in the summertime. I don't have to heat up my kitchen. I can just go outside. You know, if you've never used a pellet grill before, on a lot of pellet grills, Yes, they're a smoker. Yes, you can grill on them, but you can also bake. You can also do all sorts of really cool things on it. Almost everything you can do with an oven, it just adds wood flavor to it, which is super cool. So I'm gonna be running the pellet grill today at 450 degrees. You want that high temperature because you really do wanna crisp these potatoes up, almost, you know, like a French fry. Every 15 minutes, I'm gonna open up the smoker, I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna stir the potatoes around, make sure they end up in a flat, even, you know, layer. But you can, you know, just mix them up and get them flipped around so they're not all sticking on one side. I 
have a little hummingbird friend that likes to come visit me while I'm cooking. mixing them about every 15 minutes. I find that these potatoes take about an hour at 450 degrees. If you want them a little crisper, you can go longer. Uh, go an hour and 15, go even an hour and a half if you really want them to be crunchy. Um, but an hour tends to get to that nice soft center with the nice crunch on the outside. You can also adjust the flavor now. If you try one and you don't think it's salty enough, sprinkle a little bit more salt on there. If it needs a little bit more zing, put a little more pepper on there. It's fine great thing about this recipe is you can really change the uh, seasoning any way you want. If you want onion powder, put it on there. If you want to make them a little spicy, put some chili powder, put a little cayenne in there. Um, it, it's really just a blank canvas. I mean, a potato is a potato. You can make it taste like any sort of thing you want. And that's it. Let them cool for, I don't know, a minute or two, but then serve them up. We had them last night with burgers. They were great um, alternative to french fries. Uh, we've had them with steak. We've done them with uh, pulled pork. They're just fantastic no matter what you're cooking. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to me on social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram at Dave's Ohio Barbecue. Make sure you um, go like my Facebook page. Just go to Facebook and search Dave's Ohio Barbecue. You'll find it. Um, and then also make sure you subscribe to my channel. Press the little bell so that you get notifications. I've got a ton of videos coming out really soon. This way you'll get notifications every time I post something. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>